Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barn on Eleven Nine Seventy. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. Um, I got an incredible game that I kind of altered the rules of a very popular game that you can play with your friends and family and help teach them all about the corruption of the Federal Reserve. So it's actually um, kind of a uh, interesting way to prove a point. So what you're going to need for this is you're, you're going to need the uh, Monopoly board game. And what you're going to do is you're going to tell your friends, family, co-workers, whoever you're going to play with, that you're playing a new set of rules. It's called Monopoly, the Federal, the Federal Reserve Edition. And what you're going to need is, uh, obviously, you're going to need a Monopoly board, or you can draw up your own. It's okay. Um, you're not going to give any of the money out. You are going to be the banker slash the first player, and you get to keep all the money. Now, what you are also going to need is calculators, because each player that's going to play against you is not going to get any money. They're only going to get digital dollars. So you're going to give them a calculator, and you're going to tell them that's your bank account. Basically, what the rule, what you want to tell them is the object of the game is all of them have to try and beat you. And if you can be beaten, tell them you'll give them ten dollars, a hundred dollars, five hundred dollars, whatever you want, some kind of present, some kind of gift. But here's the best part: you'll never lose, and I'll explain why. So, um, what you're going to do is you're going to tell them that the players automatically start out. You're going to divide up all of the properties and give them to people. So they'll have all two or all three sets of properties. The only ones that you want are Boardwalk and Park Place, the four trains, and the utilities. So you tell them that's all you want. Now they start out with hotels on each one of their properties. You start out with none. So you're telling them you're going to have the they're going to have the advantage at first where they're going to get all the properties except for Boardwalk and Park Place, the utilities and the trains, and they are allowed to start out with hotels on each one. Now, um, basically, like I said, you get no players get no money, but you get it all. You tell them that you're the Federal Reserve Chairman and you own the Park Place and Boardwalk, the utilities and the trains. But each person is going to start out with 10,000 digital dollars. So you tell them to take their calculator and type in $10,000. Now, um, anytime there's a fee or a deposit, they have to pay a debt or anything like that, all they have to do is subtract the digital numbers from the calculator, and then you're going to add more paper money. You're going to write up your own paper money for that amount and put it into your register. Uh, basically, uh, you, the banker, you have all the money, and you could even print more. So here's the funny part. Even if you lose all of your money and you go on their um, one of their hotels, you have the ability to print out whatever amount of money you need and hand it to the person in the form of digital dollars. So let's say you owe $5,000. You uh, write up a $5,000 physical paper note. Put that in your own drawer, and you tell them, okay, here, enter $5,000 in your account. Now, if they argue this, you tell them, well, this is how the Federal Reserve works. So they can print money out of thin air while you need actual physical dollars. So you can even add to it where if, the, for example, um, if players run out of money, um, they can borrow from you, but they must pay back 10% plus interest each turn. Or you can even tell them, well, if you want a loan, you have to give me some kind of collateral. So maybe have them make you a dinner, make you a snack, go get you a soda. In other words, they have to give you something physical, and all you're doing is returning them digital dollars. So this would be an interesting way to show people how the Federal Reserve actually works. And if they complain about it, you tell them, well, the Federal Reserve is not part of the United States, so you're technically not part of the game, even though you're buying up. You could buy up any property you want because you could print all the money you want. So if people start getting desperate, you can turn around and you could buy their properties by just giving them the specific amount on their calculator. Plus, also, when it's your first turn, you can use your money to buy hotels right off the bat. But uh, wait for your turn before you do that. So they'll see it starting out as you just own Boardwalk and Park Place, but there's no houses on it. They have full hotels on theirs. So when it's your turn, you can turn around and buy the hotels right off the bat. So it might take a little bit longer because obviously you're going to be landing on a lot of their properties, but it's going to show overall 
that you will always win because they will run out of money and you have an unlimited supply. So if you want to play this game with your friends or family, it's a great way to teach them how the Federal Reserve works and how they don't really get any money. They actually only get digital currency while you have all the physical dollars and you could print as much as you want. So you may want to not even use the monopoly money at all. Write up your own and, and use that. And just keep writing more and tell them, well, that's what the Federal Reserve does. So because this is monopolies, Monopoly, the Federal Reserve edition, you could print as much money as you want. So you'll never lose. So that'll kind of show that even if all of the people out there had all the businesses and had most of the wealth, eventually the house always wins, especially when they could borrow money out of thin air and they don't need any physical money. They just put numbers in an account. So let me know if anybody ends up playing this. Tell me what you think about this. And um, if you ever play the game, let me know if anybody got an aha moment and kind of saw the Federal Reserve for what it was. Add some of your own ideas if you think that's uh, going to improve it at all. And uh, leave some comments. All right, guys. So share this video. Like it if you appreciate my ideas. Uh, favorite and post it on your social networks. It helps bring people to my channel so others can learn about what's going on in the world. And if you're not part of the Bar None Nation, please, we would love for you to hit subscribe. We just recently hit 10,000 subscribers, and uh, we want 10,000 more. So come on down and join the Bar None Nation. So thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night, and happy game playing. Peace.